John Kurpuski wants to know, why do I have to rebind my ELRS receivers? They just randomly do not connect at times and I have to go to Lua script and bind them. I'm not using model match. No clue. Uh, my first guess is that the hardware you're using is messed up and you should buy a different brand of receiver, but I'm not going to commit to that answer until you tell me what brand you're using. I, my main suggestion would be use a binding phrase. Oh, yeah, use binding phrases. Hey, Valenti, is it true that if you have a binding phrase in your module and you use the three-plug method to bind, afterwards the binding phrase will be in the receiver? I, I'm not sure. Captain Bry was in chat earlier. He might be able to answer that, but I have Captain Bry, are you here? He's gone. <laughs> hey, Blenty. <laughs> Look at Sunshine's latest comment. <laughs> this was one for you, Blunty. Oh, yeah, HVAC. HVAC. <laughs> okay, HVAC compressor, air conditioning compressor. Blunty to come out and fix that for you. Blunty used to do HVAC work. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Um... Let's see here. Evan asks, when starting out on a sim, what style quad do you recommend learning how to fly with? Uh, most sims will have put the most work into optimizing the flight characteristics of a five inch freestyle or racing drone. It depends on the sim. Like there are some sims that are specifically tailored towards tiny whoops in which case their tiny whoops are going to fly the best. If you're flying Velocidrone, they've 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 thought a lot about their racing drones because it's uh, it's tailored towards racing. So you'd want to pick like a 533 switchback. Um so I would I would pr if you're but on the other hand, if you're flying DRL simulator, DRL will also have put a lot of work into optimizing the flight characteristics of the DRL Racer 4. However, the, the actual answer is you should probably fly what is closest to what you are going to be flying in the real world. So if you get the DRL simulator and you're going to be flying a five inch racing drone, don't spend all your time practicing on the Racer 4, which is a much bigger and heavier quad. It's going to feel very different. Um, OTR flyer. I'm going to, did you get OTR flyers question, Blunty? I don't see that you did. I'm going to grab this question from OTR Flyer. OTR Flyer asks, why did you say in your 8S video that you need a 50 volt cap? Isn't 8S only 33.6 volts? So a 35 volt cap would be perfect, right? OTR Flyer, the, the rule of thumb is that you should have, well, <laughs> the actual rule of thumb is a 2 to 3X margin uh, on the voltage rating of a capacitor. Um, so for a, for a 33 volt uh system voltage, you would want at least like 65 or 70 volts on your capacitor and ideally more. Um, that's if you're designing like televisions and computers that need to last for 15 years. Like we push that margin a lot. Um, so it's, it's, it's common to run like 6S with a 35 volt cap, even though that doesn't give you much operating margin. But in general, I don't like to be right at the cap's voltage rating. So if I have a 35-volt cap and I'm running a 33-volt system margin, by the way, it's it's actually not, that's not even the right math because 4.35 times 8, no, 35 volts. It's right at, it's right at 34.8 volts is, the, is, is a high-volt battery. It's right at the operating margin. I don't like it. So I, I, I like to have a little headroom. But, I mean, you can get away with it. Um, Bobby Bags wants to know, is there an FCC hack for O3 if I update my O3 in the USA? I, I think, Bobby Bags, if you just do the ham unlock on the O3, you'll be fine. Just do the ham unlock. Um... 
By the way, we are going to do one more Super Chat Bonanza before the end of the stream. So if you do have a question you want to make sure I get to, we currently have... We currently have like 30 messages in the queue. So we will not be getting to all of these messages in the next 30 minutes. The stream will go for another half hour. If you do have a question you wanna make sure I get to, leave it as a super chat now. And currently there are only two super chats queued. We will be clearing those out before the end of the stream. So unfortunately, uh, we just, we have more questions than we can get to. Um, let's take this question from Gawoon Ryan, who says, is a capacitor really necessary? Because it's hard to solder sometimes. Uh, you can get away without a capacitor some of the time. In general, it's always a good idea to have one. And if it's hard to solder, then you should try to be better at soldering. Re respectfully. Respectfully. Um, anytime I find myself thinking... I know this is the right thing to do, but it's hard and I don't want to do it because it's hard. Then I kick myself in the balls and I tell them, I say, that's your sign that you need to fix this situation. Right? I mean, assu like, like assuming that it's a skill that I feel like I should have. Like changing the oil in my car is a pain in the ass. I can do it, but I don't want to. And so I take it to the shop and they do it for me because they, you know, it's 25 bucks and they can do it, whatever. They can do it faster, easier, and I just don't want to do it. Okay. But when it comes to quadcopters, the ability to solder is not really optional. You need to be able to solder to, to be able to just be in this hobby at all. So if you're going to be in this hobby and you find yourself thinking, ah, oh, that's really hard to solder. I don't want to do it. Kick yourself in the balls or or the uh, ovaries, as it were, <laughs> and get better. Time to get better. Okay. So I don't mean to sound dismissive. Just be like, eh, get good. I don't want to sound rude or dismissive, but I do kind of want to give you the real talk that I feel like is called for. Black Jungle wants to know, do you know any way to make turtle mode gradual? Sometimes I want to make it slow, not just blip it. Thank you for $5 or five reais, Black Jungle. Black Jungle, the output of turtle mode is proportional to the deflection of the sticks. If you want it to go slower, deflect the stick less. Black Jungle, here's a trick. Ooh, this is kind of cool. If you really care about this Black Jungle, set up your radio so that when you activate turtle mode, your pitch roll and yaw axis also go to 50% rates. Huh? You could even put Expo on it, Black Jungle. Think about it. As soon as you flip turtle mode, not in beta flight, in the controller, you have 50% rate and maybe some Expo, and that'll let you moderate it slower. But here's the thing. People ask this question. They're like, ah, turtle mode, why can't it be more gradual? It is directly proportional to the deflection of the stick. You're just deflecting the stick too hard, too fast. So if you want more control, that's that's a great... I'm going to make a video about that. That's a great idea. I have to make a note about that so I don't forget. Very seldom I have... Very very occasionally I have a video idea that I'm like, oh, I got I to gotta do that. Why is my phone wet? I don't like that. Video ideas. Okay. Edit. Turtle mode dual rates. That is kind of cool. I mean, that's kind of silly, but kind of cool. I think it's going to I think it's going to That video will get at least 100 views. <laughs> 